What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. We're finally gonna do the stacked SI tutorial. Um, cause Sam was getting on my case. So we're gonna do it. Um, so, uh, in comparison to some of the knots that Kiwi guys have been giving me recently, this thing feels like a breeze, but it used to be the hardest knot for me to string. Um, it's definitely the hardest knot for me to teach to younger guys. So, uh, but it is, it is a bridge knot that can really further uh, the performance of your pocket. So, what you're going to do is right about at the start, um, it, it, the, the, the use of the knot is to really transition from the channeling section of the head where you're yanking down right into the start of your pocket. Um, so you're always going to want it, you don't want it to be too high up, otherwise you're going to be sacrificing some channel. So here we have a Nike Lakota, and we're throwing it on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10th sidewall hold down right about in the middle of the head. You see right where that curve of the offset is. Um, it's right where we're starting our pockets. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down through one mesh hole, and then you're going to go down through another mesh hole. Okay, so you're going th down through two mesh holes, then you're going to go from the outside in of the sidewall, and now you're going to be weaving your way back up through these two holes. Now. It is a little bit important, kind of like we talked about with the SI. You don't want to just, actually no, does that matter? That does matter. So you don't want to make sure you're going, um, that you're coming from the outside and wrapping, making this twist like that. So you do want to make sure just like an SI, you're coming up and you're feeding it through that little gap underneath. So when you feed it through the first mesh hole, you see there's not that twist. So you're gonna go up through the second sidewall hole, I mean the second mesh hole, then up through the first mesh hole, and then you'll see you can just tighten it right down and it forms this beautiful little stack. Um, so, the best way the best way to kind of conceptualize it and make sure you're not doing anything out of order is you go down and then up and then down um, you're gonna go in review what the the biggest issue I see is kids go down down so down the first one down the second one and then through the sidewall and then they try to go up the first one and up the second one but it goes one two two one one two down, then up, and then down. So in review, we're going down through these two mesh holes from the outside end of the sidewall, up through the second, up through the first, so down, up, and then we're yanking it down into the outside for a stacked SI. That's how you do it. If you want to add a knotted version of this, all you have to do is treat it like you're tying a two first. So as we talked about in the two tutorial, you make, you make your knot and it's going to look like a two. And then from there, all you do is you just go right back up through those two diamonds, same way as if you were doing a stacked SI. And then you'll see when you yank it down, you have a knot in the middle. Um, for me, this can, um, I've actually moved almost completely away from doing the knotted SI, knotted stacked SIs, um, because part of the beauty of the SI, to me, the stacked SI is that it has a little bit of give. And so what it can do is it can add a little more hold and a little more whip on your shots, but not when you're just passing. And I find that the knotted version is so much more locked down that it works, it doesn't work the same way. It doesn't have that same elasticity. Um, 
that just the normal version does. So when we're using stacked SIs, and you'll hear me say, you know, especially in the in the NAS pattern, it's a, all of these knots, and then the one thing that isn't knotted is the stacked SI, um, just because I find that functions a little bit better. Um, so that's the down and dirty with the stack. Uh, we're gonna be finishing up this Lakota now so we can put up the pattern later this afternoon and catch you guys next time. Did I clap at the end and not the beginning? I, I hope so. I clapped at the beginning. <laughs>